Hello everyone, Mark Huntsman here in the Record Education Studio. Today to talk about how to build your sliding door frame. When you get your package from us, the header is going to be in one box, you're going to have jam tubes in the other. Um, the jam tubes are going to bolt directly to the header and you're going to attach them with a series of four bolts on either side. Now those bolts are going to be the 7 16 bolt. You're going to put a lock washer first, so the lock washer's on there. And then you're going to put a standard washer. And then you're going to feed it through the frame. And it'll go right into the rivet and lock down. Okay. Now these are real easy to put in on this side of the door where the control and motor is not. Okay. Once you get them in, uh, a ratchet or an adjustable type wrench will help you lock those down and simply snug them up. Okay. They don't have to be super tight, okay? but you've got four on either side. Now, the side of the door that has the motor built into it, as you can see up here, it gets real tight back there um, to build those screws. And this screw that's all the way up in the back corner, as you can see on mine, it's missing. That is because it is acceptable to use these front three screws, okay? And once you get them started, the easiest way is to kind of push them through, pull your jam tube up to it, and just kind of start twisting it and pushing it up. A little bit of time once you get started, and you can take your ratcheting wrench, which is the easiest, and lock those down. Um, so if you only get three on this side, you are good to go. Structurally, engineering has given us that approval and that acceptance to go through with that. So we appreciate it. We hope that you're liking these videos and that you're uh, getting something out of them. We'll keep them rolling. We appreciate what you guys are doing in the field.